Hey guys, Live Free EDC. About to give another video. Just want to do an update on Polymer 80s and what I've been working on. I hadn't made a video in like three weeks, I think is what it was. <laughs> I didn't, you know, it's amazing it's been that long. Um, just wanted to go into some parts things that I have right now and what I'm waiting on. But. I don't remember if I talked about this on this new channel or not. I got the front locking block and the uh, ejector right here uh, coated in titanium nitride, so that's why they're gold. I don't remember if I mentioned that in a previous video or not, but um, basically most of it's standard parts in here, except for this. I think this is Ghost Precision or whatever. And then the Overwatch Precision trigger. Um, all I'm waiting for right now is a barrel. I already have the slide for it. So I'm going to go into that. This is pretty cool. I've got it in there. Okay. Product number, whatever. Ordered this off eBay. I got the parts in it. Um, do, 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 do. Uh, stainless steel. I think this is Suarez International firing pin. It's actually black. Kind of hard to tell sometimes. Yeah, okay, there it is. It's black. Um, titanium plunger from Shadow Systems. And then all their parts and eject extractor and everything like that. So. But this is the window cut version I went with. Um, trying to think what the name was for this. Okay. Uh, Adam's Arms uh, Slide. I had to go check that out make sure that was what it was called. Um, I didn't go with their barrel. I don't I don't know why I didn't. I just, if you look at it, it looks cool. But basically, it's got four flats all the way around it. And I just don't like the way it looks. It's I mean it looks cool outside of outside of the slide, but not with it being in here in the window. I don't know why, I just I, I can't stand it. Um it is cool though. I wouldn't mind having it in just like a standard slide, so when it was showing out here when the slide was locked back it looked cool, but I just I hate the way it looks when it's showing in the window. I don't know. It just bothers me for some reason. So that's why I didn't go with that one, but I do have one that I'm waiting on. So, oh, and this right here, I just made this so that I could see the uh, firing pin and making sure that it was engaging this back here on the sear or whatever, back of the trigger. Because you want to make sure that you check that, that it's actually on the back of this basically 100%. You know, it's all the way down. Let me see if I can zoom in there. It's all the way down back here where my fingernail is and it's just sitting resting back there because sometimes if they're if they're riding up kind of high where they're barely on this that can be dangerous because you can have accidental discharges or semi full auto things because it won't re-catch or it just you know it'll just keep cycling without catching but I've had that problem actually not so much with that as I did with a few other components that I didn't know would cause a problem but it did it wasn't double taps either, it was full auto. Um, and the only way I could fix it was I had to strip the whole, this whole, low, not this gun, but a previous Glock I owned. I had to strip it all out and put all new parts in it because I could not figure out what was wrong with it. Once I did that, it worked just fine. So, but, best thing to do is do not jack with any of like these connector back here. Uh, I These are all stock. I don't polish them or anything. After that all happened, I just... Went with stock Glock connectors. Uh, I think that's what this thing's called. I think it's a connector. Got a chart here to tell me what it's called. 24. Yeah, connector. Um, just don't buy those aftermarket like rocket connectors or whatever. I had some problems with NDZ and stuff. Some I never had problems with, but I did with those. So I don't mess with those anymore. Those are stock. I don't mess with that at all. But triggers, not that big of a deal. And springs are, I believe, this is a Wolf six-pound spring. So, but never had any issues with that. 
And uh, like I said, I do have a back plate in my box of goodies. Let's see here. I don't know where it's at. Should have got that before. Make sure it's not blaring there and really blurry. Oh, here it is. It is a. Oh god, the dogs are in the house. Let's see here. Um, this is a. I believe this is a Shadow Systems. This came with the uh, the upper kit parts kit I bought a while back, over a year ago, and I've never used it. So it's made of aluminum. So. Either way, that's there, and I do have the sights, they're not on here yet, but here are the sights, XS sights, DX sights, I didn't want the tr the trinium insert, I, I don't really care for that kind of stuff, I mean I've had it, I don't, I don't care for it, so I just got the standard white dot right there. And the reason I went with these is because again, I don't know be able to got stuck. Oh. The reason I went with these is because it's got these two little screws that screw down in to here so that it holds it in place. And it's supposed to be a lot easier to install and it comes with Loctite and this tool back here. Can't really see it, but it comes with all that jazz. And that's why I picked it. I said those got those are probably the easiest sights I've ever seen be installed. I hate shaving material off to make them fit. I just I don't like doing that because if you shave too much off, it's too loose, and then you got to do something about that, which you might have to use Loctite. And I just I don't like messing with that kind of crap. I just want it to slide in there. I also have a tool to help push this in there. I got that off eBay like two years ago, and it's been a lifesaver. Paid like forty bucks for it, but it's not bad. Never jacked up a side either with it. Better than using a punch. That's that's a good way to jack the world up, to be honest. But other than that, this will be my Palmer 80 slide thing. Once I get it all up and running. So be basically like that, just with a barrel in there. And this was just basically a weight saving thing I wanted to do. And plus I I did some research and found out that Slide cuts don't cause, you know, a bunch of debris causing your gun not to work. I mean, you think about it, this gun's going to be in a holster probably most of its life anyways. I don't carry it without a holster, so. And uh, even I've seen videos where they throw them on the ground and dirt and stuff, and they still cycle and function. So I'm not worried about that causing any issues. It's really not in the way of anything to cause a jam anyways. I guess if you got a small rock in there, it might be a problem, but that's really unlikely. So, uh, anyways. Just want to make this video. Uh, it's going to be quicker than I thought. Uh, hoping it'd be quicker, but it's actually turned out to be a little, little longer. Sorry. Let me see here. Also, the update on the 43. I've finished it all, and there's a little bit of stuff in there. That's actually pretty smooth. I sanded it down. Did a wet sand with. Uh, I think it was 2000 grit or whatever and just kind of smooth that out so it's actually pretty smooth um, but that's the inside so I don't really care about that but other than that the thing worked out real good uh, I actually tried another slide um, that one of my family members had their 43 slide and put it on here and messed with it with the magazine I didn't shoot it but you know these are new magazines got another one I had open but and uh, it's slid on here real nice and no issues whatsoever with that so uh, I think it's gonna work great I can't get the slide I want right now because since the pandemic started they those 43 X slides have just like been sold out and I've been waiting for them to come back in stock so I'm still hoping that I can either get that or just a 43 slide I don't want to do a custom slide I just want a standard one so I, I thought about doing a 48 but I'm not gonna do that so but this should work great. I Like I said, I messed with another slide on it. It slid on good. What I did basically was a lot of the issues typically you have with these palm radies is there will be sharp pieces, uneven pieces back here. And you just kind of smooth those out. 
sand this down just a little bit and make sure it's on a flat surface uh, sandpaper or whatever uh, you can use a sanding wheel um, there were two little high marks on here I don't you can't really see them now but it was right here in the middle and basically what I did with that is I just kind of even that out on both sides and uh, I think that really helped the slide go on smooth and everything um, also it helps if you get your holes drilled correctly which is not hard um, best way I found out to do that which I didn't know when I built this one was use a Dremel it's because they they're so fast you just put it in the hole and and then you're done it's it's perfect but used a hand drill for this one but it didn't actually turn out bad so and there's a little bit of stuff around the edges there just you know technically that can be cleaned up but other than that I like the feel of this thing the grip is just really nice the texture on it and I think this is gonna be probably one of my favorite little pistols once this thing's 100% completed but other than that, just wanted to make this update and let everyone know that I'm still alive and kicking and COVID has not killed me. Uh, <laughs> that's not funny. But anyways, I uh, just wanted to, like I said, give you all this update, let you all know I'm doing good and hope everyone else is doing good. Uh, peace out and hope everyone has an awesome week.